Our phones hold our entire lives, from cherished photos to sensitive financial info, so it's no surprise that hackers are always looking for a way in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to check if your phone is hacked and a few methods on how to fix it, including some of the best antivirus tools that'll secure your device. All right, so how to know if your phone is hacked. Start by checking for strange on-screen pop-ups or apps that you don't recall installing. If you hear weird noises during a call, it's a possible sign of phone tapping and things like a sudden slowing of your device's performance or any app status indication lights activating are also traces of a possible breach. Now, if your phone was hacked, you'll likely notice your battery running out faster than before, as well as seeing logged calls or messages that you never made. Also, if you experience random spells of your phone overheating, that could be because someone else is using it in the background. A common method for hackers to infiltrate your device is the spyware on phone method. Now, there won't be any physical signs this malicious software is accessing your private data, but mobile phone spyware, like a keylogger, can log your keyboard activity, and FinSpy can literally record with your webcam and mic. So now that I've covered how to know if your phone is hacked, the next question is, what can you do about it? So the most effective step at removing malware planted by hackers is to run a security scan with a reliable antivirus software. I've got three discounts for all three of the industry leading providers that I'm recommending today. So you can choose the one that suits your needs the best and get protection for your phone as soon as possible. After that, you just need to download and install your chosen anti-malware software, and then choose to scan phone for virus via a full system scan. I also suggest deleting any suspicious apps from your phone since hackers could be using them to access your data. Then I advise changing the passwords on any sensitive accounts like banking apps, social media, and emails, and adding two-factor authentication so that all future logins have a boost of security. So the next thing you can do that will help to secure your device even more is to go through your phone's settings and individually check which features are enabled. To do this on an iOS device, just navigate to the privacy and security button under settings, and you can tailor which apps are allowed to track you or not. By clicking on location services, you can see which apps have been using your location. And I recommend turning off any that you don't recall giving permission to. By clicking on the tracking tab itself, you can instantly remove access to any apps that are tracking your activity across other companies. And the photos button lets you choose exactly which platforms can access your pictures and videos. This process is very similar on Android devices. Simply navigate to settings, then click the location button and restrict any apps that you don't want tracking you. Regardless if you're an iOS or an Android user, I also advise turning off any features that you're not using, such as Bluetooth, because this closes any possible open doors so third parties are less likely to successfully connect to your device. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, when it comes to having spyware on your phone, not even your conversations are safe. This is why it's also important to double check that hackers haven't already enabled call forwarding, which directs your incoming calls to another number. To do this, go to your phone app and type in star pound 21 pound, then check that everything listed on screen says disabled. If any of them are not yet disabled, you can do this by typing in star pound 002 pound. Now, if you've tried everything that I suggested in this video to remove any potential malware problems, but still nothing has worked, then the best option is to restore your phone to factory settings. As you can see, doing damage control after your device has been compromised is a bit time consuming. It's a stressful procedure. So to ensure you don't have to repeat this process anytime soon, I'm gonna show you how to protect your phone from being hacked again in the future. So the most effective way to secure your device and all the data on it is by downloading an antivirus that has anti-spyware software built in. The first provider that I can recommend to do this job is TotalAV. Its mobile antivirus app comes with a smart scan. This boosts security by checking if the device is up to date, ensuring all pin codes are enabled, scanning for malicious sites, and monitoring how secure the Wi-Fi network is. On top of that, TotalAV has some bonus security features that help keep your phone even more secure. Apple users get access to features such as data breach monitoring that sends an alert if your email address has been leaked and your data compromised. 
The app also blocks malicious websites before you have a chance to click on them. And there's even a QR code checker for the ultimate security. The Android version of Total AV can also block malicious apps. Plus it comes with real-time protection that actively monitors your mobile device for malware 24 seven. This app additionally comes with memory optimization that helps you clear out your storage quickly, thus improving the performance of your device. And if you opt for either of Total AV's top two premium plans, then both Android and iOS include a password manager, ad blocker, and safe browsing VPN feature that encrypts your network connection and protects your online activity from any snoopers. Now, the next provider on my list, Norton, also comes with lots of extra features to help users stay safe, though the malware scans and real-time protection are Android exclusive. Aside from that, the web protection feature blocks malicious sites, while Wi-Fi security checks public Wi-Fi networks in advance and lets you know if it's a safe option. Plus, the Genie scam protection feature uses AI technology to detect any scams in text or online. So it really covers all of your security basis. Now, just like with Total AV, opting for Norton's premium plans also gives you access to a fully functioning VPN and password manager, making it an excellent all-in-one security suite. Now, the App Advisor is an Android exclusive feature and it scans apps before downloading them, ensuring that they're not riddled with malware. And you may recognize the next antivirus provider on today's list since I've already covered it in several reviews and that's Bitdefender. Now, the Android and iOS apps both come with Wi-Fi security and web protection. Plus the Android version includes real-time protection and anti-malware scanning. There's also data breach monitoring and just like with Total AV, Bitdefender's higher premium tiers also include a password manager, ad blocker, and a VPN. The Android app does come with an anti-theft feature that lets you remotely locate and lock your phone, plus scam and spam filtering. So to sum up this tutorial on how to check if your phone is hacked, awareness is your first line of defense. If you notice any signs, such as unusual battery drainage, apps you don't remember downloading or logged calls and messages that you never made, then it's time to take action immediately. All of today's antivirus providers are equipped to add that layer of essential protection. You know, it's just a matter of deciding which one suits your specific needs. Now, Norton is an excellent choice for those seeking complete mobile protection, identity features, and a VPN, whereas Bitdefender is ideal for anyone who prioritizes great security at an affordable price, and anyone focused on privacy tools should definitely opt for Total AV. Now, remember, your phone, that's your digital life. Try to keep it safe and I'll see you in the next video.